All right, John, thank you so much. A lot of excitement, obviously, with this Mud Hens opening day. 22 years going strong in this. I, I'll tell you what, I've been to a lot of these. This is one of the better ones. It really is. Now, we have team coverage for you today in our 4, 5, and 6 o'clock news, and we asked Steve Iwanek, we want you to go out and find some fans, interesting fans to talk to. Let's go to him live and see what he's come up with. Jeff, Dan, thank you. I know I just took a look at the scoreboard. We're in the sixth inning. Can't believe how fast this game has gone, but there was a lot of hype coming into this game, and why wouldn't it be? It's a tradition here in Toledo for opening day for the Mud Hens, and so we caught up with a few fans downtown to get to their excitement for today's ball game. Let's go, Mud Hens! Just getting back into the baseball season and just really enjoying uh, summer coming around the corner. We've been doing this for about five years now, staying at the same place. Yeah, we have a good time, uh, have a few drinks, cook some hot dogs ourselves, and go from there. It doesn't get old. You know, this is our 18th opening day. We just got done with a great St. Patrick's Day, and I look forward to it. As much as I look forward to St. Patrick's Day, I love opening day. I'm a big baseball guy, so we're excited um, that the day's here already, yeah. Oh, it's a great atmosphere. Toledo's a great city, um, and it's always a good time. This is a tradition, and I'm looking forward to, uh, as it being my first time, I'm looking forward to uh, what it has in store for me. I just love the atmosphere, honestly, the environment. Um, everybody's having fun, everybody's getting together. You know, it's always a lot of fun. I mean, I love baseball in general. I'm a Cubs fan. I wish I was in Wrigley, but that's all right. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. It's just, every, just the atmosphere, the energy. Everybody's happy, having fun. It's a good time. It was an idea. Uh, the Halloween costume for many, many years. And this year, I finally did it. Um, I went to the UT BG game out in BG, and it was a hit out there. So for big sporting events and stuff like that, maybe I can get on the scoreboard, get a little bit of attention. I think Toledo, they're, they're going to have a great year. And I think today is going to be 8-2 to two, Toledo. No, blowout. Blowout. Yeah, yeah, right. blowout, right off the bat. No. Let's go, Mud Hens! Let's go, Mud Hens! Go, Mud Hens! Yeah, we heard some of those scores, right? Nobody thought that the Mud Hens were going to lose today. And right now, based on what that scoreboard says, it seems like the city of Toledo is 100% correct at this moment. But of course, the ball game still has a lot of innings left to play. Outside here, a fifth third field, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11. Back to you, Jeff and Dan. Steve was talking about how hard hard to believe it is right now. It's already in the sixth inning. We've got a tight game, 3-2 right now, Mud Hens. Yeah, what a day, huh? Four o'clock Mud Hens game. You got a seven o'clock game just about two blocks up the street. Yeah, and I, you know, the other thing that I found fascinating, roster consists of 17 players who have been Mud Hens players before, but 12 newcomers as well on this team this year. A lot of experience. What we have is a lot of experienced AAA guys, but yeah. also a lot of up and coming stars. Right. Uh, the one kid, Young, he's he's an up and comer that may be with the big club like within a year or two. All right, fun to watch. We'll be back right after this.